Hi, I'm Clever Sausage and I decided to create this video because I've had a PC related project on my mind for a year or two or maybe two or more and I never got around to finishing it due to uh, not being able to follow through with it because I kept hitting a brick wall. Um, and couldn't get it to work as I wanted it to. Uh, I once upon a time was a complete novice to computers. Um, had a few friends that were like uh, staying in my house at the time and they helped teach me computers and then I got a real interest in it. And it went on from there. In the 70s and 80s, I had no interest in it at all, in computers at all. Came across one when I was working at a factory, uh, an office helping parents clean. Um, come across some more with a Canadian friend who found a whole lot outside a company, um, discarded in a bin, so he took a lot of them home and was trying to get them to work. And I had an interest, but I asked him, yeah, can you teach me? He just didn't so um yeah had some malaysian chinese and uh chinese uh teach me in my interest group did a couple of computer courses got a diploma here uh ncqa level five i was going to go for six and seven but it's uh very money related and yeah. um got so far then pay again to carry on yes that's all and I can never get into the industry because it's not what you know it's who you know you know I've had some friends that were on the same course as me and um, they failed miserably whereas I got a diploma uh, level five and they got into the industry whereas I, I couldn't it's just, uh, when I applied for jobs just a you know, um, basic desk jockey support um, they says, well, you need at least one year's experience in the industry. And I was like, oh, what the hell? So that's why I figured out it's not what you know, it's who you know. Because here, in New Zealand, they, they don't really want to train. You've got to come train. <laughs> experience, you know. Anyway. Um, yes, I got this massive interest in computers. And a guy online was dropping hints that... Um, you could create a 100% disk less computer right so I thought oh that's cool because he said uh, your chances of getting a virus infection on your machine is like 98% you know um, and then explain how you do it. So I started to uh, tinkle, you know, pull them apart and stuff like that. Um, and an older machine that I had, one like this, uh, way back then, I pulled out the um, uh, DVD, CD, DVD, ROM, the hard drive, the floppy disk that you had in those days, you know, good old days. Um, because it was recommended you don't use them anymore because some sneaky little devil can come along and put a um, floppy disk in there and copy all your data on your machine take it home and perv at it and um, probably use it to their advantage you know, if there's anything incriminating on it they've got you over a barrel um, yeah so I took out all those parts as he suggested uh, but I couldn't get the damn thing to run I kept hitting a brick wall as I think I was saying so this particular machine it's been sitting around my room for a long, long time, six months or more. Uh, and today I decided, oh, I'll try that project again and this time see if I can finish it, you know, have some success. So what I've done is I've taken out the, I've disconnected the CD, DVD one. Here's the proof here. So it's not operable. I can't use it. It's not powered up. All right. 
there's no hard disk drive here it's no floppy it's not connected to anything it's proof right so those two I'm not using right or those three I'm not using okay all we have here in this machine besides the fan and the ancient graphics card is um, some memory right uh, probably about uh, gigabytes worth the CPU I assume is running it processing at 1.2 gigahertz yeah, it's pretty slow I, I, I tried it it's pretty old and slow I tried it before to uh, using a USB um, a formatted USB with a live operating system from distrowatch.org a free Linux one you can get and put it on there and try to run it and it just nothing happened. Um, I think another time I tried it and it just I don't know whether that operating system was too heavy for it or it's X64 or something like that, it just didn't work. So yeah, I ran into a brick wall failure there. So today I decided like I was saying I, I decided to do it again. Give it another try and this time succeed. So because like the previous machine I had that was like this old one I just ages ago. I took all the parts out right um, as I think I mentioned, yeah, but um, there's some gaps in it, you know, there's some gaps in here uh, at the front. Maybe uh, I can go have some dinner or something like that, you know, leave it out with my shed door open, go have some dinner, have a coffee, relax, watch a bit of TV, whatever. The kids go outside to play, two young kids that had at the time. They'll sneak into the shed and it's, you know, the uh, lollipop sticks and rippers and uh, earbuds and stuff that be stuffy stuff in here, right? And those gaps. Um, you know, I come out there and there's all this crap in there, and maybe a teddy bear jammed in there. Um, so, you know, what the hell? So, uh, yeah, this machine here, I decided, I think I'm repeating myself, but yeah, I decided to give it another go. So, I disconnected all those parts, right? Um, and lo and behold, hooked it up to a monitor right see it like it's, it's uh here just for a moment here these uh oops at the back here show you okay here's your uh monitor uh connection right and what it's connected to is a female this is the male and what it's plugged into is called the female as far as i can remember and maybe something's not right at the point the screw goes it's not something wrong there is uh when I touch it on this monitor here it flicks you know goes sort of yellowy then goes back to its proper colour so there might be something wrong there uh, okay I just moved it and shut it off now it's back on but it's sort of not as colourful as it was before um yeah there's no uh USB ah uh, sorry no um internet connection Wi-Fi connection there there's only the power power cord so obviously it's on uh, there's two USB slots here, okay, for the them who may think I'm being deceptive and uh, because this is an external drive which I uh, had on Windows system, it worked for a while and then one day I decided it didn't want to work anymore in any Windows system so I plugged it into um, this machine, this diskless PC, 100% diskless PC and lo and behold this heads Linux, which is like Tails, but they reckon it's better. Uh, free from distrowatch.org. Uh, detected it, but uh, I swear on the Bible or God or whoever, whatever, that there's no, no system on it. I wiped it before when I was on Windows, had all these files and stuff on it. It's a, it's a um, 500 gigabyte external hard drive. I got from the Asian shop for 50 bucks, good deal. But I don't know, uh, I was being stupid or something one day, I didn't think and wiped all these files on there. And then I tried to um, yeah, hook it onto uh, these Windows machines and, and it just wouldn't detect them. So today, like I was saying, I put it on here and this uh, heads, this Linux heads operating system detected it. Yeah, so there's no system on there running heads because it's blank, okay? Um, and this other one here is the mouse. Here's the mouse. Okay, there's proof. Yeah, okay. there's two USB ports here at, at the back, and there's one at the front, which 
uh, I put a USB keyboard in there, right? This old crappy thing. You see, there's a button missing. Yeah, that's a. Uh, see that there? Button missing. Kids, uh, friends, kids come over and they get bored or get frustrated with the game, the, the, the retro games I had on um, this machine before, and they pull the buttons out for some unknown reason. Even on the new. Um, keyboards, some of them, yeah, they pull the buttons off, I don't know why, um, kids, uh, and yeah, I dropped it a few times, lost the corner there, um, yeah, I got this, uh, webcam here, um, this one here, it's a PS2 USB, uh, webcam, and then there's some toy, eye toy things, because, um, why I'm using that is because um, any wires from a mouse, USB mouse, uh, from a keyboard, USB keyboard, uh, your phone charger, your adapter, anything that hangs, got a cat here, and he says cat, he chews them, he chews them, he chews through them, you know? he's chewed about like, four or five uh, mobile phone adapters, chargers, cords, um, mice, USB mice, um, USB keyboards, yeah, you just, little punk, because um, I was talking to a lady on a, a social chat site who said that she's a cat lover, and she's got this idea that in these cords, there's fish oil, right, these cats having a sensitive nose, I guess, I uh, can smell that fish oil in there, so the little buggers chew it, and he's chewed right through it. You know, a guy gave me um, all these. A guy gave me this blue can. What the hell did I do? Give me these blue cans. What's the matter? That captain. Yes, that's too. I didn't know it was working. Oh well, cool. I'm sure it's working, does it? Eye tool. Okay, what's with the eye tool? It's not eye tool. This one's working. Oh, okay, so that's why I got a better picture. I didn't know that. Okay, this is not working. What the hell is going on here? This one's actually working. Oh, well. I guess. Wow, that's bloody cool. Way better. Okay, way better. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, much better. Oh, what a mess. Um, yes, I can. I can show it. Aha, I can show it. I can show it. I can show it. I can show it. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so. Sweet. Okay, let's go here. 
Ready? See you go, me go, I got to get me, 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 me